Because, look, if you said to me, I'm not even going to say who I'm talking about, right? Please don't. I'm just going to say, if you represent prison reform, how did you sign to a correctional officer? And you managed by a snitch. Shalom. And you're now locked in here at This Light Talk TV where you get nothing but the raw and the real whenever I'm in front of the camera. So make sure y'all show the page some love, like, subscribe, and share. Shalom and greetings. And welcome back to another episode here at Is It Light Talk TV where you get the full 100 whenever I'm in the building and no paid media points. Now, family, uh, you see the thumbnail. You see the title. That's right. 50 Cent clowns meat mills and ti for police allegation but turns around and does a deal with a rat okay so now what i want you guys to understand is that we're going to be continuing our coverage on this bml stuff okay i know the youtube streets are kind of silent on this thing people don't want to talk about it because they you know they hold big meat in this uh you know a, a, this high standard because of his accomplishments okay uh people don't too much care about the telling you know, when it's their favorites, but they're just looking at the fact like, man, these guys was a big empire. They did this. They were able to do this because you got to understand these entertainers, these rappers and stuff that's coming from the streets. A lot of them do not have that type of resume. You know, these these are the heights that a person in the street are trying to achieve. So when you see people like Big Meech that have accomplished this stuff, those accomplishments uh, outshines the underhanded stuff that, you know, he actually did in order to, you know, cut his time and get out of jail early when he should be serving life like all of the other bosses that's locked up. OK, um, so I hear chatter where people are saying, well, he's doing 30 years. So how did he t see a lot of these people are operating off of emotions versus facts? OK, you got facts and then you got fiction. And people look at the fact that just because, see, what you guys got to understand is that everybody that tells do not get to go home. Some people, uh, records are so messed up where they have to do time, okay? They're just not going to do the time that they should be doing, okay? It's just like on my case, the person that told, you know, his criminal record, he should be doing life right now, but he was able to get his time cut all the way down by cooperating with the government, but he still had to go do time though, you know? So don't think just because somebody tell, they automatically get to go home. These people are in jail, you know what I'm saying? Prison is full of snitches all over, you know, including the USPs, because as I explained to you, even at the top of the top, um, you have people that tell, but what they do is, as I've explained to you, they convert to Islam because Islam is the only religion in the federal penitentiary that you can tell and become part of and be able to walk the compound, you know, on whatever compound you at, because uh, Islam is going to protect snitches if they convert to Islam, okay? So this is why you see a lot of these dudes, oh man, I'm Islam, I'm Muslim, this and that, but they be hot as fish grease, but they've been able to walk the compound because they're, 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 they're Islam, you know what I'm saying? And, and I was in the feds with people like that. In USP, they was walking the compound and was hot, but because they were converted to Islam, they were able to stay on the compound, okay? So uh, I'm going to be touching on all of this stuff. Make sure you guys... Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications, and share this video. And let's get it out here in these YouTube streets. Because I'm hearing a lot of crickets moving through these internet streets whenever it comes down to this stuff with Big Meech, right? But we're going to blow this stuff out the water because, you know, these people look up to these individuals. And as I'm getting ready to show you, whenever it comes down to money, people are going to break all the rules and they're going to move the goalposts every single time. Now we see the videos, right? Okay. Now I'm going to play these videos. I'm pretty sure you guys already seen this at some point in time, but let's just uh, play these videos to um, refresh 50 cent uh, mind so that he don't, so he don't think that we just picking on him. You know what I'm saying? But Hey, when you, when you, when you mess up, you got to report to the principal office. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now listen to this right here and then I'm ready to come back. I stay away. I stay away from search because look, if you said to me, I'm not even gonna say who I'm talking about, right? Please don't. I'm just gonna say if you represent prison reform, how did you sign to a correctional officer and you managed by a snitch? Help me, help me with this, man. So 
we hear 50 Cent talking about how Meek Mills was signed to an officer and being managed by a rat. And he's speaking about in regards to uh, Rock Nation, you got uh, Jay-Z and then I guess his big homie, um, OG Wine, his wife, uh, basically, you know, she wore a wire and set up people, you know, uh, overseas, you know, Puerto Rico, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Colombia and different places like that. Right. Um, so he spoke in regards to that. Right. But then he turned around and did this series with a woman that's a known rat, that's a known um, informant. OK, so. As you listen to Blue Interview, and you can go to Cam Capone Network and, and listen to the uh, uh, to the um, to the videos. But he spoke about how he was talking to Meech about this TV show that was going to come out. Now, Meech, out of all the people in the world that he could have signed his rights over to, said he could have signed it over to Lil Meech. He signed it over to the informant. And I'm getting ready to explain and show to you why he signed it over to the to this woman. OK, so now this woman has gone out and, and set up people, right? And this is what I want you guys to understand, right? Because these entertainers try to move the goalposts and say, oh, well, this person right here is a civilian. No, these people are not civilians. A civilian is a person that is not involved in any type of criminal activity and see a crime being committed and they tell the police, this is what happened. That is a civilian. A civilian is not a person that's wrapped up into drug activities Wearing why setting people up, you know what I'm saying, on these squares and stuff, as I'm getting ready to show you, that these are not civilians. These are people that are embedded deep in the game. And, and this, third, this third party cooperation is the things that you guys have to watch out for, right? Now, let me show you guys something, right? I'm going to put the paperwork up here on the um, screen so you guys can see it, right? But the first thing that I want to start with, right, is this first, this first page of this paperwork, right? The United States District Court of Eastern District of Missouri, right? So what I want to show you guys to kind of help you guys to understand how this paperwork stuff work, right? So it's the United States versus Dion Gatlin, Timothy Rush, Andre Rush, and then you have Lorenzo Gibbs uh, that's, that's, in, that's involved in this, right? Now, it, it, it from when you go through this paperwork, right? Uh, well, hold on before we get to that. What I want you guys to understand is that so these guys right here, that's only that the United States is versed these defendants. These are the people who paperwork this is. So it's not in Big Meech's uh, paperwork because his case has nothing to do with this case right here. OK, he's the one who lined this play up from prison. OK as the document is getting ready to show. So he's in their paperwork, okay? Their, his paperwork is clean. So this is how he's able to walk the yard because in his paperwork, none of this stuff is there. But the guys that he told on or he lined up and had set up through this third-party service, it's in their paperwork. And these are the people right here um, that's involved in this case, okay? So this is what you guys got to understand. Now, let's go to... Uh, I'm going to go to page four because this is what I want to point out right here, right? It says, third, the affidavit asserts facts related to a, a suspected drug distribution conspiracy between Demetrius Flannery, Dion Gatlin, and Fidel Suarez. Now, the thing that's interesting is this Fidel Suarez sounds like he's been working with the police too because he's not in, his name is not on this indictment, even though he was, he, you know, he's involved in it. He was, he was involved in this stuff too. You know what I'm saying? It says more specifically, the affidavit asserts that Demetrius Flannery was the purported national leader of the black mafia family, BMF, drug trafficking organization and had been sentenced to 30 years imprisonment for drug trafficking activities. The affidavit further asserted that based on information previously known to DNA, St. Louis Dion Gallant was a member of the St. Louis BMF. Now, what I want you guys to understand, right, because I want to highlight this, this Dion Gatlin is a member of BMF. The same guy that 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 Big Meech lined up, he he's a member of BMF. Okay. Now just take a mental note of that because we're gonna get back to that in a minute, right? Okay, was an associate of Flannery. 
had substantial ties to multiple B BMF members, had been indicted in the Eastern District of Missouri on drug trafficking charge and sent to 120 uh, months incarceration for drug trafficking. So about 10 years. It says the affidavit asserted that based on information from CSI and an independent investigation by DEA, St. Louis agents, Suarez owned and operated a trunking company in California and had been investigated and or arrested without conviction for suspected drug trafficking in 2005 and nine. So this is telling us that this Suarez dude is been working with the police also because it tells you that it, it says, look, it had been investigated and or arrested without conviction. So that means that he was working with the government because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How, how, how was he not arrested? They say he was arrested without conviction for suspected drug trafficking in 2005 and 2009. And this is the same dude that BM, uh, that Big Meech is using and, and, and old girl, uh, Tammy uh, Coins, to line up this this uh Dion Gallen, but he not he's not even on the indictment. You see what I'm saying? So this helps you to understand that these people are working with the police, man. Now listen what it says. It says finally the affidavit attested that based on information CSI provided to the DEA, Atlanta agents, Flannery and Suez became associated while both were incarcerated and for monetary gain. Flannery arranged through CSI for Suarez to provide cocaine and multiple kilo qualities to Gatlin. So this is what these big time kingpins do uh, when they're incarcerated and they have the money. They need to set somebody up. So it's like, OK, we're going to set somebody up. We're going to line up a play and then you have this dropped off over here and then we're going to get the bus and then I'm going to get, you know, time knocked off on my case. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, fam. According to this paperwork, Big Meech cooperated with the government. You know what I'm saying? Now, the thing that's interesting, getting back to 50 Cent, because we're not going to leave 50 Cent in the dark, because if you notice, you see on this, on this picture right here, 50 Cent and Lil Meech and all of these people are in a happy-go-lucky mode. And they're sitting right next to a top-tier informant. You know what I'm saying? And what I don't what, what and what I don't like is the fake stuff. So how so ask me this. How can Lil Meech start some stuff with Blue Da Vinci on something? And this woman that Big Meech signed his rights away to is an informant and has set people up. And yet y'all doing a deal. You strength you're basically strengthening the hand of evildoers. Why would you break bread, break bread with a rat and strengthen her hands and she done lock people up? This woman is not a civilian. OK, a civilian is a person not involved in criminal activity. When you are involved in criminal activity, you are not a civilian. You are a criminal. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, now, if you notice, it was a member from BMF that she said that she lined up. That all that that her and Big Meech lined up. So how could 50 Cent? Because people say, well, well, 50 Cent maybe didn't know that that's not no excuse, because here's the deal. How could 50 Cent? do a series on something and not talk to the BMF members and the people that he's, that he's trying to uh, do this series on and get the information on a documentary or a, or a series that you're trying to do. How do you not get the facts? How do you not speak to the people? Because all these people, like the, the one, the one lady, uh, what's her name? Tanisha. Well, all of these people know that this woman, Tammy uh, uh, Cohen's is an informant for the government. So how did so so how is 50 Cent doing a series? You don't have that in a series where this woman that signed the rights over to you set these people up for big meets, and this is how he's getting you don't have none of that in the series. So at the end of the day, fam, these people are phony. 50 Cent did business with a rat. You're strengthening the hands of evildoers, you're breaking bread with rats, and, and here's the deal. How are you gonna speak about you know, uh, OG Wan's wife being a rat and all of this other stuff and all of these people you call rats, but then you turn around and do business with a rat. You know what I'm saying? So this tells you that there's no integrity here because think about this. Where's the compassion for the people that you say that you representing that's supposed to keep these street codes and get lined up by these rats? And then instead of you saying, you know what, man, y'all said, buddy up, I ain't going to do this and that. Woo, woo, woo. You turn around and do the series and you're happy about doing this series. You know what I'm saying? 
because you get money off of this thing. So at the end of the day, family, this entertainment business is phony, man. These people are going to turn, cut all type of corners in order to get this money. It don't matter if it's doing business with a rat or any, none of that stuff matters in the entertainment business. People are going to get money. They just don't want you doing it. You know what I'm saying? Coming up because they have a, because think about this, fam. If this no snitching rule or whatever this stuff was out the window and whenever people did stuff, they got told on and went to jail, then you got to understand in the music industry, they're not going to be able to promote a lot of this stuff because they know that these people are going to jail as soon as they get caught and people are going to tell on them. So that's going to mess with their money. So they're going to say, no, y'all keep the street codes and do this and that. But on the back end, we're doing something that's totally different. So the bottom line is, according to this paperwork on them boys out of St. Louis, Big Meech lined them up through his assistant, okay? It's in black and white. People coming out and trying to say, oh, well, Blue did this. Y'all have not produced no paperwork on Blue. You know what I'm saying? People can sit up here all day and say, oh, this person did. It's he say, she say. If he told, produce the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? That's it. And then we can deal with Blue. But he, Blue is producing the paperwork showing that Big Meech is a rat, man. And this paperwork is out. And them boys that's locked up down in St. Louis, they're part of BML. You know what I'm saying? So how in the world is the, the leader working moves and setting up other members that's part of the that's part of your same organization, man? Like that's slimy. You know what I'm saying? Like that's super slimy. That ain't even like, all right, these some people that we I do business with. I'ma line them up. You go get one of your members and you line them up because you're trying to get out of jail. You know what I'm saying? That man should be doing life in jail right now, man. And he gets out in 2028. So at the end of the day, fam, that's in five years. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, the proof is in the pudding. The man is a rat. All this stuff that people talking about and all that, his 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 legacy is going to be shattered behind this. You know what I'm saying? You you like you know different than anybody else. So why would we lift these people up and we know they that and what they represent? They don't even represent that stuff to the court. It's a disgrace to the people in the streets that's really living that stuff and think that these people are real or 100 that steady getting locked up and doing time behind these fakes and phonies, man. And I have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Because these people are not cut like that. When 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 the push come to shove, they're going to say they behind. And 50 Cent sat right up here and did business with a well-known rat. And you didn't put that in your documentary about how that woman wore that wire and set them boys up in St. Louis. So if you're doing a show on this stuff, why don't you put all this stuff in it? So at the end of the day, 50 Cent, you're fake and phony, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to hear your commentary or nothing about anything that's pertaining to the streets because you're not in the streets no more and you do not follow those rules. OK, so at the end of the day, that can beat it. So I just gave it to you. Y'all share this video. Y'all leave your thoughts down in the description box on what y'all think. I mean, why is the YouTube streets and I'm speaking about the bigger platform so quiet on this? You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, the paperwork is out there. I'm leaving the link down in the description box. You can go pull that paperwork up. You can go pull that case up through that case number and see all the people on there. And Big Meech is not on that case, but yet he's in the paperwork by helping lining this stuff up. You know what I'm saying? So was this his deal with the government that, okay, look, we're going to send this to the third? Because he know that he couldn't have nothing in his paperwork and still walk the compound. So it was like, man, I didn't say nothing. I didn't do this and that. But they work deals with the government behind the scene. Like, listen... I'm going to go down and do this, and then I'm going to line something up and give it to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is how this thing work. So at the end of the day, leave y'all thoughts down in the description box. But yeah, 50 Cent did business with a rat, strengthened the rat. And so my thing is, if, if it's okay for them to do that, why did they blackball 6 9 all these all these years? What is the purpose of that? Why, if, listen, if, 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 uh, if 50 Cent is going to do business with a rat, this woman is not a civilian. She was entrenched in street stuff, street business. You know what I'm saying? She knew how to line stuff up. She did whatever Big Meech uh, told her to do. So what's the difference between Gunna and all these other people? So people should be able to work with Gunna. And all these other people, if these people that's supposed to be the face of this stuff has no problem working with rats or employing rats, there should be nothing wrong with what Gunna did or what anybody else did if they're doing it. So leave y'all thoughts down in the description box. I'm signing off here on Is It Like Talk TV. Shalom.